Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be breaking down the photos for the finale. There's a lot of photos to go through, so if you do go on to enjoy the video and you're looking forward to the finale and the end of the season, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos. Okay, so the finale. It is coming up next week. I can't believe it's come this soon. It's gone so quick this season. Season 5 has been great. But I've talked about that many times. And we'll talk about that and my overall thoughts on the season after the finale comes out next week. But we've got these photos. We broke down the trailer. Go check that out. That came out like quite late last night. So this is coming out late as well. I just can't really get the videos up super early right now. So go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. It'll be in the description below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into these photos. So the first photo, we see Barry and Nora. They're together in Star Labs. Nora's just wearing, you know, a leather jacket, normal clothing, basically. So is Barry. And they're having a talk. And this, I don't know, looking at it at first, I get this gist that maybe this is one of the final talks before they go into a battle or something. It seems kind of nice and innocent. And I don't know, I, I just have this feeling about this photo. So let's move on to the next photo. And in this next photo, we see the reverse flash trap or the thorn trap that Cisco named it last episode. Basically, back in season one, the hologram of reverse flash was there. They thought they captured him, but Cisco has edited it, modified it. So none of Nora's lightning or anything that she's producing is going to be let out of it. So essentially, this is how they're going to capture Cicada, it seems like, in this episode. Because you see her in this photo. She's right in the center. Then in this next photo, you see Iris holding a gun. Ralph seems very confrontational. Sherlock's holding a gun and Cisco's on the computer. Therefore, because Cisco's on the computer, she's standing right there. You can infer they're going to capture her right here. She's not going to be able to use her dagger or any powers, essentially. And that's how they're going to stop her, most likely. Okay, so next photo, same place. This is most likely just prior to this. So when maybe she comes in for the first time, Sherlock and Ralph, very confrontational as per usual. And same thing with this photo with Cisco. He's by the desk. He's about to use his computer. Okay, so the next photo is of Barry and Nora, and so this seems to be like the final confrontation of the episode. Well, we know it's going to be pretty late in the episode, and it seems like once they defeat Cicada early in the episode, we're going to go deal with Reverse Flash. So he comes back to 2019, because at the end of last episode, we got the teaser, the cliffhanger, that... He had Cicada's dagger in the future on his chest to dampen his powers. He's about to get killed because he's on death row. And in the past, because Reverse Flash has, you know, manipulated Nora and manipulated everyone else, he's about to be set free due to the fact that the dagger is going to be destroyed in the past. So this is the confrontation. He's back in 2019. He's freed of the prison. Maybe he kills the prison guards and everything. He gets out of there and he never returns. But he comes to 2019 for some reason. We don't know why he's coming. I think I've heard some theories online that maybe he's going to help Team Flash. I don't see that happening. I know he has feelings for Nora, like not in a weird way, but like in a fatherly way, because he's been able to teach her and train her. And yes, he's been manipulating her, but there is this sense, like Ira said a few episodes ago, that he really does care. So I'm a bit sort of on edge as to whether I think, you know, he's going to go full villain or not. But it seems like this is the final confrontation of the episode. We see this photo of Barry, and Barry is, you know, staring into Reverse Flash, his mortal enemy. So we move on, and we see all of Team Flash. And so that's Barry, Iris, Ralph, Cisco, Caitlin, and Nora. And they are all standing in a row, all against reverse flash and so they're outside you can see on the ground there is a destroyed time sphere all over the ground and that seems to be how he's got back i'm not sure if he has his powers straight away again and this is where one of our theories actually comes in to play because we know what's going to happen in the next few photos which we'll go over in a sec we know that something is going to happen to nora and if reverse flash like he did in season one he needs a way to siphon the negative two force or the speed force so he can use his powers because he's been taken away of that power for so long in the future i reckon he's going to be very weak 
and he's going to need the power. Maybe that's right. Why he's returned with the time sphere rather than running back, and he's back here for a reason to do with maybe getting some speed force powers. So you see Killer Frost, Cisco, and Nora. They're all together, just a different version. And then we move on to the next photo. We see the West Allen family, backed obviously behind by the rest of Team Flash. But it seems by the look of their face, this is maybe just after Reverse Flash has arrived and you see the bits of scattered rubble all over the ground so it seems like it's been destroyed. This is a reactionary shot so something is happening with Reverse Flash off the screen because you can see Nora's face is very shocked, Barry's got his mouth open, Iris has got her mouth open so again you can just sort of infer what's happening here. Iris seems to be talking to either Barry or Nora but most likely Reverse Flash as that's where Reverse Flash is in this scene because she is conversing with someone, so I'm guessing it's Reverse Flash. And then we get the Reverse Flash photo. Oh my god. Barry fighting Reverse Flash in 2019. In the finale, they've released this photo. It is sick. Barry is holding him up by his arm to Reverse Flash's throat. And as you can see, it seems like his hair is more normal. His eyes seem to be a bit more sort of intact a bit more like season one it seems like they've gone a lot of makeup to make him look a bit younger i think and he does look a lot more reminiscent of season one rather than the more old looking version that we've seen in 2049 so it seems like with him getting his powers back and he's got his suit back that's a notable thing he's got it back and he's going to be wearing it maybe he is sort of changing appearance he's more back to normal than he was because, you know, he was in prison, barely eating any food and things like that, being tortured and everything. So he definitely would have changed and lost a lot of weight. All right, so next photo. And this is where we come into my theory to do with maybe Reverse Flash siphoning Speed Force. And I'm talking about Nora because we know in this episode something is going to happen to Nora. We've seen from behind the scenes she steps back, she sort of stumbles, looks at her hands, and everyone seems kind of shocked. So... Is she getting erased? I think that's a high possibility due to the fact of time travel and the timeline and all the changes. There is a high possibility that Nora will get erased, maybe to do with Reverse Flash because it seems like she attacks Reverse Flash, then she stumbles back. Or my other theory is maybe that's when he siphons the negative speed force energy. We know Nora still got it inside of her. She gets angry. She goes to punch Reverse Flash, beat him up. Then he siphons the energy and maybe Nora dies on the spot. That is a pretty good theory if you ask me. And I am pretty confident in it actually. And I would really like Nora to say, I think there is a chance. I think it's like 60% Nora dies or gets erased. And there's a 40% chance that she actually sticks around until Crisis because, you know, her main mission is in fact to stop Barry from getting erased. And we know the timeline's going to change. Maybe the timeline changes in this episode in order for 2019 to become Crisis on Infinite Earths rather than 2024. So, like I said, this photo you see Iris crying. And so this, what, this is what leads me to believe that potentially... Nora might be dying or get erased in this moment because why would she have this reaction? She wouldn't have that to anyone else apart from her daughter and Barry looks shocked. So this is what I'm talking about. Moving on to the next photo, we have Reverse Flash. He looks so much younger. They've definitely done the makeup to make him look more like the season one version of himself and that is exciting. He looks menacing as hell. This is so reminiscent of season one. He's got his full suit on and everything and he is in full confrontation mode. He's definitely talking to them right here. So, damn, just look forward to this. Oh my god, Reverse Flash is back, like fighting Barry and everything. And it's going to be nearer to the end of the episode, so it's probably going to lead into whatever cliffhanger it is going into next season, so that's super exciting. And I think it might have something to do with Crisis on Infinite Earths. Okay, so the next photo, we get this other angle of Barry you know, putting his arm up against Reverse Flash's neck, and it seems to be like they are talking close up. Barry's doing this face where he's sort of just like super intense, and Reverse Flash seems to be talking to him, so it seems this is more of a confrontation, like trying to make him talk or something, and he just seems so angry, and we don't know the full context, obviously, but 
this is just something to look forward to. Okay, so the last photo of the batch is Killer Frost and she's just in her normal clothing. She's there with Reverse Flash and Team Flash and she's just part of the confrontation. So that is it for this video, guys. Well, I'm super excited for the finale. Please be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any videos about the finale next week and this week but also into the summer because we're going to be making loads of videos so don't go anywhere all over the summer until the flash returns with season six next season next fall so in the autumn around october time as they normally do so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys later goodbye